Coming up next, it's the Pro Wrestling Report Feedback Friday. It's your favorite show each and every week where we respond to your questions, comments, and concerns about our broadcast over the course of the last week. How can week. they be concerns? This is my part. You know, you're not supposed to talk here. This is the tease. I'm the tease. I tease. Oh, by all means, go ahead and tease. Feedback Friday starts right now. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Feedback Friday. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Hero here on Friday, February 3rd, 2017. And how has your February been treating you so far, David Hero? I know it's your favorite month of the year. It's been fantastic. Really? Yeah. You don't mind that it's short? Is it a leap year this year? We got 29 or 28? Yeah, that was last year. You know, Mike, Bo Mike Bond was born on leap year. Was he really? Yeah. What does he do about his birthdays? Just once every four, or once does he just pick four. a date? Really? Yeah. Are they epic? He's like five years old now, I think. So it's like reverse dog years. Yeah, yeah. Or it might be like maybe seven. Huh. Well, folks, let's get right down to it. Let's get to your comments of this week from our broadcast of last week. First, uh, first of which comes to us from a oh, YouTube there's user a lot of words in by the one. name of Bishop Lives. So pay close attention, David Hero. This question is for David. Uh -huh. As all of you would agree, the Royal Rumble was a solid pay-per-view. However, while people are criticizing the Rumble match itself, you have to look at the creative di direction with the whole Wyatt situation. The way it's going, it looks like Bray will win the Elimination Chamber, as you said yesterday on Primetime, David Hero, and will face Randy Orton in the main event at WrestleMania. The question is, for fans such as us, such as us Bray Wyatt has been wanting this push for the last three years or so, and he's never gotten it. Do you think it's a bit too late now? Or has his character been damaged? Not at That's all. It's a good question from Bishop Woods. Bray Wyatt, even though he's never won the big matches, he's always been on the top of the card. He's always been that heel. Mm -hmm. and, you know, much like a Roddy Piper, who was never a world champion in, never. in WWE. Never was he once. He was in WCW, wasn't he? He may have been WCW yeah. world champion. You know. No, I don't think he ever, he never held a world championship. He beat Hogan in the cage at Halloween Havoc. Hmm. I don't remember if he was won the title or not, but, but I mean, that don't make a damn bit of difference. But Bray Wyatt, he's still he's still a star, and he's still a top guy, and you know they've always kept his character strong and interesting and unique. Yeah, when they could. Now, this uh, Bishop Lives is, is thinking that perhaps the creative has held him back. It's Bray's injuries. It's nobody's well, fault, but his injuries hurt, have right. held him back because and, that and momentum stops and, and, and at let's that face point. It, you know, at the time they were building the Shield, they were building CM Punk. Other guys were getting elevated and. Not everyone can get elevated. Right. Great question, though. Thank you very much for that correspondence. Uh, YouTube user by the name of Bishop Lives. Next one comes to us from a user by the name of Thunder Knight 19. Is that like a Thundercat? Ho, Mumra, Mumra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thundercats. Sure. Thunder. I, I never thunder. watched Thundercats. Really? Yeah. What about Silverhawks? <sighs> nope. Really? Yeah. What about Shira? In the honor of Grayskull. I. She had her own cartoon. She did, in the honor of Grayskull. No, no, no. Wait, because uh, He-Man said by the power of Grayskull. Right, yeah. She was in the honor of Grayskull. But I can't believe you never watched Thundercats. I can't believe anyone couldn't figure out Prince Adam and He-Man were the same guy. I'm sorry? Prince Adam and He-Man. No Who's one... Prince Adam? He was the guy who became He-Man. Oh, by the power of Grayskull. Yeah, the guy with the pink tights on and the white Skeletor? fluffy shirt. Skeletor? Was the, uh, yeah. well, Skeletor was He-Man, right? No, Skeletor, yeah, he was the villain. Who was Thundercats villain. villain? I don't I didn't watch it. <laughs> I can't believe, I, I really think you would like Thundercats. No. Can you try an episode on Hulu Absolutely or something? Absolutely not. You, why not? You don't even want to give it a try? No. All right, what about Silverhawks? Voltron? I think I saw Voltron once. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. As you continue to brush away thoughts of your childhood, let's go to Thunder Night 19's comment. And I quote, I feel Seth Rollins isn't just as popular. I feel Seth Rollins just isn't as popular as CM Punk and Daniel Bryan were. Also, well, Daniel Bryan was a top, top, top guy. Also, I think his return quickly lost steam after losing the championship and failing to win the Universal Championship. Uh, it's his thoughts anyways. What do you think of his thoughts, David Hero? Seth Rollins not as popular as Punk and Bryan well, and also losing steam after let's losing face the championship. It, Punk and Rollins were hugely elevated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Daniel Bryan was the ultimate underdog. Yeah. Everyone got way behind him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seth Rollins has had success throughout his career. A great amount of. And let's face it, he was aligned with, with uh, 
what is it? What were they called? Stephanie and Hunter Corporation. Let's just call them that. Sure. You know the authority. The authority. You know, is. and and it, it's just like he's been a top guy from the get go. Yeah. Whereas, so, whereas Punk slowly elevated himself. He was that round, around, around. Then he yeah. dropped the mic in 2012 and became a thing for exactly. about a year. Exactly. Um, but of the three, and that's not knocking Punk because he was a big star. Punk, Brian, Rollins. Who, at this point in Rollins' career, who was the bigger star of the three? Oh, Daniel Bryan. Hands really? Down. Absolutely. CM Punk, did he headline at WrestleMania? No. He sure didn't. No, he did not. Did Daniel Bryan headline at WrestleMania? Daniel Bryan beat Triple H and, and then headlined and won at WrestleMania. Yeah. Did, has Seth Rollins headlined at WrestleMania? Mm, kind of. After the fact. Kind of. Because he cashed in, became yeah. a three-way. Mm -hmm. But that's not his fault. No. Because he was injured last year. Maybe right. he would have been headlining and perhaps he would be headlining this year as well. Mm -hmm. But interesting, uh, thought-provoking comment there, Thunder Knight 19. Thank you very much for sending that in. Our next comment comes to us from a us user by the name of Drakken. That's sort of like, ah, Boogan. Street Fighter, I think it was. Oh, okay. You did play that? Mm, I don't know. The whole just, this is reference to what we talked about last year with the stare down between Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, and The Undertaker to end Raw. The whole just staring at the other person thing is tired and played out. No, it's not. Undertaker does it every year for the last few years, and okay. there is no intensity to it. Just shows more bad writing and the poor trend by writers to just no. take what works once if and do the same thing over and over again. Undertaker's an attraction. You're going to pay to see him. So not this is for, for all free. the ladies who came, the men who came to see me, and the, the men, the ladies who want to be. be me. Uh -huh. Are you ready for the grind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they do it. They're not going to give away. They gave away Taker and Shane for free on Raw, and it was terrible, remember? Here's the thing about all this uh, abuse of creative and writers. It is a job that is thankless that none of you actually would want and could do any better at. That's a fact, oh, Jack. You know, Here's the thing. You, your favorite TV show right now is what? The View or The Talk? The, the Flash. The Flash? Yeah. So let's say there's a bad episode of The Flash. Mm -hmm. Who do you blame? I don't complain. Oh, well, that's an interesting concept. Yeah. It's just like, so, so all this blame on the writers and WWE and creative is just like blaming when your favorite TV show goes sour blaming the writers for it, but you don't. You, you know, there's, it's not a pointed blame at anybody. You know that, um, Speaking of show. what was his name that came with us down to San Antonio? The, the guy that was smoking that hookah thing. Uh, Omarion. Yes. He was complaining about Raw. You know what I told him to do? I want you to write me down six weeks of television. Ooh. How you would do it. In detail. In scripted. detail. 13, every segment. 17 segments, whatever yes. it is on Monday nights. Yeah, I go, I want you to write three hours every week for six weeks. That was a year and a half ago. <laughs> You're still working on it. Try that sometime. And then you got to find stuff for everybody. I don't think it's played out. I think it is. It, 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 sometimes the less that is said means more than anything that can be Remember said. Remember when Hogan and Andre had the stare down in Piper's pit? They never touched. Uh, no, they did. And Andre, no, ri and Andre ripped the necklace off? Yeah. That was huge. That was the touch. But no, yeah. no Andre did speak to him. Andre did well, say words. Right. But what I'm saying is that's magic. Mm -hmm. And everyone, 93,000 people paid to see that match. Yes. Uh, thank you for that comment. Let's get to our next comment here. Uh, this one comes to us from a YouTube user by the name of David Stronach, who asked the question of, do you see a potential of an actual takeover by the NXT brand and them declaring themselves as their own company and that their stars are no longer allowed on, ma on the main roster unless it's a dual brand pay-per-view? So will NXT ever become absolutely not its own thing? No. They are its own thing, but they're never going to do that. It's as much of its own thing now as it ever will be, right? All you got to do is send Brock Lesnar down there. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Thank you for that comment, David. Uh, next and final comes to us from Tim Oakley. Tim Oakley, who says, and this is what we talked about last week, as a potential scenario between two men who may face each other, but probably won't and likely won't at WrestleMania, to be honest with you. And I quote, I really like that Angle Taker retirement scenario. What, when properly motivated, Kurt Angle is still better than 90% of the wrestlers on the planet. True story. Mm -hmm. I think he could carry The Undertaker in a great match. Now, the likelihood of this happening is still there, but 
pretty much unlikely. But it was an interesting scenario we talked about last week, David Hero. Taker versus Angle. Whoever loses I has to retire. That. Because it's realistic that one of them has to retire. Oh, it, it absolutely. And Kurt Angle, I don't... If he does get back in the ring again, it's going to be a gimmick match. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, I honestly don't think he can pass the impact test. I really don't. Mm -hmm. He's so beat up. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. That is Feedback Friday, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I want to remind you to subscribe and comment. Subscribe to us here on YouTube and comment on our broadcast. And your comment could be used in one of the upcoming week's it could shows. Be. It could also be. want to remind you to follow us on Twitter, at Damian Nelson, at David Hero, and, of course, at LindaK22, and at PWR Show. Don't forget at Cal Hero as well. Is oh, there an yeah. underscore in there? Is it no, just uh, Cal just, Hero? Just, just roll that. it straight through? Yes. And uh, also want to remind you to download the Fight TV app. That's F-I-T-E dot TV slash PWR to uh, get the Fight TV app for free. And we talked about yesterday on Primetime the major, major announcement regarding our live broadcasts from Orlando during WrestleMania weekend over the course of three days exclusively only, will only be seen on the Fight TV app. Not going to be here on YouTube, not going to be on the website, uh, pwrshow.com. Only place to see it is to see it on Fight TV. So with that and for that one, this is Damian Nelson saying thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again next week for the programming of the Pro Wrestling Report.